social and ethical issues, the integrity of the original source data. So, data used in information systems should be of a high quality, meaning that it is current, accurate and relevant to its intended purpose. This can be difficult to achieve when source data is not essentially easily verified. How do I know that the data I'm getting for my system is actually correct? So I need to think of some sort of process in order to achieve this. The system also needs to ensure that integrity is maintained when adopting information from its sources. So let's say I do choose to use information and it is correct information. When I put it into my system to use, I can't change it that in a way that makes it incorrect. So I need to maintain that integrity of that uh, source of data when it is used in my system. So how do I make sure that this data is of good integrity? Well, the best way to do this is through researching and referencing multiple sources of information. So I don't just get it from one source. I check multiple sources through the internet, through traditional texts, through conversing with professionals in that area in order to make sure that they are correct. And those would all be considered credible sources. So using multiple credible sources and types of credible sources. This will help ensure that data entered into a system is correct and up to date, making the system more meaningful and reliable to its users. And you know when those terms are used, and hopefully you know that by now, we refer that to as a good quality of data because it's actually meaningful to the purpose that people want to use my system for. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at a bit of the negative side of this, and that is that inaccurate data creates inaccurate information. If the data is entered into my system is actually correct, well then, the information that comes out of my system is also going to be incorrect. So if I don't put data of a good integrity into my system, well, it's wrong from the beginning. And I'm going to be making a system with wrong data. Everyone's going to use my system and it's going to give them wrong data. And they're not going to like my system after that, are they? Secondly, this is a time consuming process, all this cross checking and research and all that. And this is why we need to make sure we reward the makers of systems and people who create this information, you know, and acknowledge them and pay them for their work. Okay, because cross-checking all this data and this information to be used in system takes time. Okay, and that's what obviously deters people from doing this and why they don't go ahead and build large information systems. Okay, we pay people lots of money to do this job. But obviously there's a lot of good behind this and that's the reason that we do create systems with uh, good data integrity. Okay, so the first reason is user confidence in the system's reliability. As data provided by the system is more likely to be correct, users will be confident in the system's capability to provide quality information that will aid in their day-to-day -day tasks. Okay, so whatever this system's for, their confidence is going to help them because as far as they know, that information is correct and it helps them produce their work, which is going to be correct because it's based on the system's data. Secondly, is that of that notion of data quality. The data provided by the system is relevant to the needs of its users, aligning with and helping them achieve their own personal goals. Okay, and we want good data quality in the systems we create. That goes through all the topics, not just multimedia systems. Okay, we want that quality of data. And then finally, more business. Users will be more likely to recommend the system to others due to the quality of data being provided through the system's integrity of information. If this is a great system, I'm going to recommend it to other people who need it for the same thing, especially if we're in the same industry as me or they have the same interests as me. Okay, I'm going to be happy to recommend this because this is a good system and it makes my life either more enjoyable or easier. So I hope this is giving you an understanding of the importance of the integrity of the original source data. Essentially that we need to make sure that data is correct when we're going to use it in our system, but also that when we do use it, we need to maintain that integrity of the source uh, when using it in our information system. Okay, and we do this through cross-checking, referencing, and using multiple credible set, uh, sources in our actual system. So I hope this has helped you understand the importance of the integrity of original source data.